Media, Medford. Your real public access station in Medford. So it's 10.40 a.m. on Thursday. And we have a new access TV station that they're using for the city council. And they're using it for Vogue Tech. So I get an email at 7.02 this morning. After 15 years of looking for public access in Medford, Ben Brown sends me an email. And he says, oh, I'm not feeling well today. You can put your TV show in my mailbox. $65,000, $75,000 a year. This kid's getting, that's what was in the RFP, request for proposals. Sixty-five, seventy-five grand, and he can't come to work with five days before an election. Yeah, the dog ate the homework, too. First, he said he didn't know the Verizon indemnification form. He'd never worked at a Verizon station before. Why were you hired? Look, we're public access TV producers. We want our material on the air. That's what we want. And we're, we're doing access TV at home for YouTube. Why? Think about it. Getting a tweet here from Facebook. Little X, you just get rid of it. So, what are we going to do now? It's like we're, we're in some Willard movie with Ben. Another child running the access station. We saw what happened last time, right? Fred Delarusso, now there. There's a paragon of virtue, right? Fred Delarusso Jr. We need a young person to run access. What the hell does Fred Delarusso know about life, let alone access TV? The guy's a moron. He's an imbecile. Without Daddy and Grandpa, where would Fred Delarusso be? In Fred Delarusso's infinite wisdom, he hangs out with Adam Knight. Think about that. Frederick N. Delarusso Jr.'s infinite wisdom. Junior, Junior, his dad's a junior too. I, I don't know how that works. I guess you put another initial in and you can have double junior. That's real confusing. Junior Mints. Off to Vegas, Freddie. You know, Fred needs a service, a servant. He should get rentguy.com or something, but I digress. Every time some good looking guy comes into Alden Chambers, Fred doesn't like being at the council. He just beelines it to the good-looking guy. I'm not saying nothing, man. I don't know. But these, these insufferable people. What are they doing in our city? They hate free speech. They don't like... Where's my phone? I'm, my, I'm charging my phone. They don't like Facebook Live. Ooh, Rick Caraviello will call the police on you. Like the police... Don't have better things to do <laughs> than come to the aid of some fat slob who doesn't want to be on Facebook Live. What is an overweight buffoon doing at Demet's Donuts? Okay, the poster boy, Demet should pay him to stay away. <laughs> you don't want to see some fat guy at a donut store. Have you ever seen Rick Caraviello at a gym? Gym? It's like Manny G. Krebs. Work? Okay. So I heard this morning in a phone call, and this happened in 2016, but I heard that the city clerk, Ed Finn, went to the VFW, or called them or whatever, wrote them a letter, I don't know. It's in the Medford transcript. Google it. They wanted them to take down the All Lives Matter sign. What is this? All lives matter. Kitty cat lives, doggy lives, lizards. All lives matter. Life is a precious resource. They got nothing better to do in this city than harass the VFW. Veterans of foreign wars. These people gave their lives for their country. And so this whole charade of being politically correct at Medford City Hall, these gangsters, they're gangsters. These gangsters don't give a damn about you. No, 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 they don't. 
these gangsters don't care about you. Medford City Hall, thugs. T-H-U-G-S, thugs. So what are we going to do, Medford? What are we going to do with these insufferable buffoons? They don't want this on Access TV. They don't want you knowing that Mayor Burke's husband comes up behind me while I'm videotaping. I, I wasn't videotaping yet. I was going to my seat at the Chevalier. But I'm there to videotape. It's a great debate. That's Stephanie lost. She lost the election too, but don't let a little fact like that get in your way. You see, you cannot win running for office in Medford. They have the whole system rigged. Allegedly, they carved up the wards and the precincts and there's a little gerrymandering, I call it. A little local governmental gerrymandering kind of sort of thing. They stack the deck. You can't win at the polls. Not with a crooked, creepy Ed Finn in there. Lied to the police. He's just a liar. See, Ed Finn slugged me. He, he hit a senior citizen. And when the police filed charges on the victim, it proved that they believed Ed Finn hit me. They knew he hit me. There was a witness four feet away, saw the whole thing. Conveniently, conveniently didn't testify. No, because he saw it. So Ed Finn got away with slugging an over 60 person. Think about it. Muccini Burke and McGlynn's administration resorted to violence when it came to me. They resorted to violence. Oh, Mark Rumley doesn't like the fact that I wrote in an email, I don't take a water pistol to a war. No, I take lawyers. So Rumley writes to Chief Sacco, how much do we pay these people to be morons? Mark Rumley is the biggest disappointment in, biggest disappointment in Medford. Oh, he looks all sharp with his suit. He carries himself well. He's just another hollow, shallow, sleazy individual. The sooner Mark Rumley leaves the solicitor's office, the quicker Medford will improve. But what do I know? I'm just an investigative reporter with detailed files on these people. So what are you going to do, Medford? You have an election in five days. This isn't about me. Yeah, they're censoring me, but they're censoring you. See, this isn't about censoring Joe Vig. I'm the messenger. They are censoring you. They are censoring you, Medford. You just got slapped in the face by Mark Rumley and Stephanie Burke, and they're laughing at you. You know? Ben Brown? You know, high-end streetwalkers make more money. But if he wants to sell his soul for 65 grand, hey, you know, goes on his resume. People will know he was involved in a situation where the First Amendment was fractured. It's community media Medford. More to come.